Lavrov explains how the U.S.'s blackmailing and arm-twisting policy works. The developing world basically was silent until the West started blackmailing them, threatening them, sanctioning those who, who would not sanction Russia. You know what? Many, many friends of, me, of my, uh, mine in the developing world, they're telling me uh, how this is being done. Uh, when the West says, the Americans tell them, uh, you must vote this way uh, or else. And they say, okay, I, I will vote the way you want me because I believe this can be explained by the United Nations Charter and so on and so forth. But what do I get in return? And the answer from the Americans is, you would not be punished. Fair deal, very fair deal. Then uh, I have quite a number of friends in New York, and when I was there for the last General Assembly, I talked to them, uh, and they were, uh, many, if not most of them, were saying that they fully understand what is going on, and that uh, we should not be angry um, at the way they vote. Uh, and they told me what arguments the Americans have been using uh, when they persuaded people to vote in the General Assembly against Russia. The arguments are very straight. Don't forget that you have a bank account and such and such bank, and don't forget that your kids uh, go to Stanford, bluntly. And I'm sure that there are many people uh, in this room who know that this is true.